Hey, what's up guys? My name is Ebony and welcome to my channel if you're new. If you're not, welcome back. Um, this is a video about mastopexy, which is a breast lift without implants. Um, with implants, it would be a mastopexy with augmentation. But I got just the breast lift without implants. Okay, so um, this is all about that. Um, I'll be doing a series about this, a few videos, so stay tuned for those. First, it's a very personal decision. Um, you know, don't do it for anyone else. If you are considering doing it, do it for yourself. I mean, men, they really do not care <laughs> one way or another if you're thinking about, you know, how you're going to look in the bedroom. Um, I can honestly tell you that most men do not notice or care about any of that stuff they just want to see them <laughs> um and just make sure that it's about you and you know just fixing something that will something that will boost your confidence um but not make your confidence if that makes sense yeah. so i have been thinking about doing this for a very 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 long time so i have been researching one place that's very helpful to research if you're thinking about doing this is called realself.com and on real self you can browse through women real women who have received the type of surgery that you're looking for and they have pictures that are unedited once you sign up and you tell them your age and all that they have pictures that are unedited that you can see the exact process i have been posting on real self as well i got my procedure done on september 1st and today is october 1st um, and I feel really good about it. I'm really happy with the results. I went to Dr. Richards and he is in Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm in Los Angeles, California. Yes. I did have to travel to get my surgery done, but not a long travel. It was just an hour flight. It is a day of surgery and I am wearing my pajamas. Um, I just got a call from the doctor that i will be going in an hour early so that was a little unexpected um but yes I'm about to get into the shower here i'm in las vegas the venetian beautiful bathroom um and i'm about to wash with plain dial soap because that was the instruction so you have to wash with the plain dial soap um the night before and the night after. I'm also kind of thirsty a little bit because you cannot drink um, anything, eat or drink anything after midnight the day before. And it is currently around 10 a.m. Um, but yes, I am, you know, I'm fine with that. And I'm excited and I'm ready. I'm about to take my shower with this dial soap. I had to remove the nail polish from my, pink, uh, my index finger um, on my left hand. Um, I know I look absolutely crazy right now, but I just woke up not too long ago. So yes, um, I'm also out of breath because I went down to play a hand at the casino <laughs> and I ran back up here because I have to leave sooner than I thought. A lot of people don't like to talk about cost, but I'll tell you guys about cost. Um, I was researching this doctor, you know, way before I got the procedure done. So once you have a consultation and you decide that you want to go with a surgeon, you will usually give a deposit and that deposit locks in your price. So Hi. prices will keep... Don't be honking during my video. Okay. Oh. But nerve. So prices keep going up as time passes. So um, if you lock in your price now, then you schedule your surgery date for later, your price will stay the same. So currently, I believe the price is around $8,500 or $8,000. My price for my, and also it depends on your case, like how severe it is or, you know, what needs to be done. So my price for my specific case was $7,000. And this was like a year ago, I would say, when I put down the deposit, something like that. Um, and now I'm sure it's higher, but maybe not too much higher. One thing that you will need is a caregiver. You're going to need someone to be there with you after you have surgery to, you know, get you out of surgery because you'll just be off of anesthesia so you can't drive yourself. 
also you won't be able you have to like have t-rex arms you know for like the first couple of weeks you can't lift up above you know you really won't be fully recovered until after six weeks and today's four weeks for me i feel really good but i still try to you know um limit myself to just like let myself heal and be gentle with yourself allow yourself to heal and all that so you will have to get blood work prior to your surgery i believe it's about one to two weeks before your surgery so that it's you know recent enough to be valid and legitimate as you go into your surgery and you want to stop smoking if you're a smoker i'm not you want to stop smoking 10 days before your surgery because it can delay healing okay so i went and i got my blood blood work at a regular lab i think it was quest diagnostics yeah it was quest diagnostics and it was covered by my insurance the lab work um and you know everything came out fine since i'm going to since i traveled to get my surgery done they sent me a packet full of information and um basically the packet just told me all of my pre the packet told me all of my pre-op instructions um so what to start so i need to start taking a vitamin c supplement and a multivitamin just to like get my body ready to heal and undergo this surgery also i could take arnica tablets which are like um available on amazon or the pharmacy i could take those three days prior to my surgery and just to help with swelling and pain also they prescribed me um medication so medication for um pain and tightness as well as antibiotics and they suggested that i get the medication prior to my surgery so that i'm not like you know in pain running out to get my medication after these are some of the medications that they told me to bring um oh yeah they told me to wear these on the day of surgery they're knee-high compression stockings i'm about to put these on right now these are the medicines that they um have prescribed to me so far except for the pain medication um, I actually had some trouble um, filling the pain medication in California where I live because the prescription was from Vegas but there is a pharmacy near them so hopefully the pain medication that they give me will still be in effect until I can get my own pain medication and then also just a little surgery packet that I had to fill out um, and bring with me to the surgery so I'm just gonna all put it in my big bag that I have and um yeah get ready to go so the one thing that i can't say i encountered a problem with is that my prescription was from las vegas and i live in california um it's, and so the prescription was from nevada um so they wouldn't prescribe me my um opioid medications unless i was in nevada so i was lucky that i did go a day early so that i could get my prescription um, before my surgery and so just be aware that if you're getting surgery out of state you might have a trouble getting your narcotics i mean not your narcotics <laughs> your opioids are they narcotics i don't know but you might have trouble getting them before you actually um travel I actually have a vlog <laughs> I have a vlog about my pre-operative point so I'll go ahead and insert that right here all right so this is what I'm wearing I have slides on. I'm actually gonna put some socks on with these slides because um, my feet always get cold I don't know I'll let you know if they tell me to take them off and um, they want you to wear something with a zip up so that you don't have to raise your arms up to you know put clothes over your head so another thing is that you do have to remove your piercings so i had to my piercings were all from the, sh the shop and they put these um earrings in there that were pretty difficult for me to get out myself especially with the length of my nails so i went to a piercing shop out here in vegas it's called club tattoo and they took off my piercing so i have a conch piercing here and um, I recently got a cartilage piercing and he put fillers in there, which are like these little glass um, earrings, basically like placeholders. So I'm gonna let you guys know if the doctor will let me keep those in because some of my piercings are fairly new and I don't want them to close up because I'll be recovering for a few days. So I'll let you guys know how that goes and yeah. So as soon as I get in there, the nurse evaluates me. She takes photos of me for the, I guess for the 
sorry. <laughs> I'm just trying to get more comfortable. Okay, so the nurse takes before photos of me. You know, she has me do front, side, and side. And then she asks me to undress. Um, then she uh, gives me an IV in my hand, um, like right here around my wrist. And you know, just pinches a little bit. It's not too, too painful. You can move around after that. And it's attached to a, a pole and like a bag, which I've, that's where they're gonna put the anesthesia and everything. So um, after that, Dr. Richards came in and he did the markup. It was very specific about this. Like this was actually my first time meeting Dr. Richards in person. Um, one thing I will say is that I didn't think that there would be other surgeries going on the same day as mine. Um, so that was a little like, I don't know. I don't know what I was expecting. I felt like I was gonna be like the only person there or whatever, but it felt like he had just gotten out of surgery and he was gonna do mine and then probably do another one after that. But he was totally fine. It was very energetic and um, very to the point and very specific, which I liked, you know. I love a friendly person and everything. Not saying that he wasn't friendly. He was really, he was a nice man. But, you know, just to be like really specific and like about the work and about your business is what you need when you're, um, you know, going, when you're having a medical procedure done on your body. Yeah, so when he came and marked me up, he was like, okay, you know, this nipple is lower here, this breast is lower, like blah, blah, blah. So he's marking me up to like get me as symmetrical as possible. Um, he asked me what size I wanted my, because they do, um, they do reshape your nipples. I will say that they reshape your nipples. So he asked me what size I wanted my nipples. I honestly had very large nipples before this um, and I resized them down, you know, not to like really, really tiny nipples because I don't really like super small nipples. So they're somewhere in between. And if you look at my <laughs> real self profile, you'll see what I'm talking about. Put my hair in a, a cap. And also, um, you can't have any nail polish on this finger. I think I said that in my vlog, so I don't need to say that anymore. So yeah, I put my gown on and I put my cap on. One thing I will say is that you want to wear underwear. <laughs> so I went commando because um, you want to wear a zip-up hoodie and be comfortable, as I said in my vlog. But um, another thing you want to do is probably wear some underwear because you do have to undress from the bottom as well so you're only kind of getting worked on up here so everybody doesn't really need to see down here but hey whatever you guys are seeing all of me today so yes I didn't wear underwear but I would suggest wearing underwear on the day of surgery the anesthesiologist comes in and just asks you a series of questions um, be honest about them because you know this is your life so be honest about everything he's asking you and you know he'll i guess they'll you know make the anesthesia to cater to your body and you know your height your weight your all of this stuff you know they all the anesthesiologist is there to ask you questions just to screen you and make sure that they're doing giving you the right i don't know amount dosage whatever go ahead and research it but yes just be sure to answer all those questions honestly so then after that, I go into the surgery room. Everyone was really, really, really nice though. Let me say that. Everyone was really friendly, cheerful, nice, and about their business, which is exactly what I am. So we could relate. We were here. We we're here. So I walk into the surgery room and there's like some music playing. <laughs> it's like, you know, not loud or, or low or anything. It's just like some music, some like upbeat, happy music playing. And then um, I have the anesthesiologist like hey we have your margarita right here so i get up on the table they help me up onto the table i lay down and um everybody's just in really good spirits like there's really good energy in the room and um you know they let me know that they're about to give me the anesthesia and then i want to say like a few seconds later i was out while I was out, no, I didn't have any dreams. Um, I didn't think about anything. I certainly didn't wake up and not be able to move. <laughs> in case you're wondering, yes, this is my first time going under. Um, but yeah, I just woke up and I was in the recovery room. So when I woke up in the recovery room, oh, I forgot to mention this. I was expecting to go into the surgery 
um, having an anchor scar. An anchor scar, I will put a photo of it somewhere around here. But the doctor actually felt that I had enough breast tissue and not enough, not enough like loose skin down here to require an anchor scar. So I was able to get away with a lollipop lift, which is less scarring. And that was just amazing news for me, okay? So, flash forward, I'm in the recovery room and um, I wake up like, hey, did I get to do the lollipop? Like that was like my main concern because the doctor was like, if we can do a lollipop, like we'll do a lollipop. So I just asked the nurse like, did we get to do a lollipop? And the nurse, he was like, um, yes, I think so. I think you were able to do that. And I was like, are you sure though? Like, do you really know? Because after you're on anesthesia, you're like kind of annoying. You're like really loopy and you ask the same questions over and over and over again. Um, but the nurse was just so nice. I mean, they do this every day. So I'm sure they deal with, you know, difficult patients every day, all day. <laughs> so yeah, he was really funny. He was like, yeah, you know, he asked me that about four times but yes we did do the lollipop and all that and so I was just loopy I don't think I was really saying anything too crazy like how you see on all these YouTube videos or um you know memes and stuff like that or um how you see on the Facebook videos how they talk all crazy I don't think I was doing that but yeah I will say I was talking very slow and I'll insert a clip of after I was done with the anesthesia but I was talking very slow <clears throat> and I was moving slow so another thing you're gonna want to do especially if you're like going to a hold back to a hotel is to request wheelchair service so we requested wheelchair service at the valet of the Venetian and um, someone was able to wheel me all the way back to my room which was amazing people thought I was drunk though I'm sure you know in Vegas when you see someone in a wheelchair like this you automatically assume that they're drunk so yeah I had to deal with that but that's okay was it worth it absolutely it was worth it I feel like I'm missing some things um you know if you have any questions please comment down below I'll add them to my next video I'll um, respond to your questions in the comment section um if you're if I'm missing anything um but yes this will be a series and I'll just think of anything that I miss and put it in my next video but this is just an introduction to let you guys know um, that I did it and it's something that I've wanted to do like pretty much half of my life. So um, it's such an uh, amazing feeling to be able to like wear things like this and, you know, not um, not feel self-conscious or not have to do so much just so that your breast can sit up, you know. So yes, um, please comment down below, please like this video, please subscribe to my channel. On this channel, it is a self development blah, 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 blah. <laughs> it's a speech development, no, I'm just kidding. It's a um, self-development channel where I'll talk about, you know, how what I'm doing to level up my finances, what I'm doing to level up my body, um, health and fitness, um, beauty, and, you know, things like this. Just things that I am doing to improve my life. I just recently moved and I got married, like I said. Um, I'll talk about that as well. And that's why I've been off of YouTube for a little while um, and also preparing for the surgery and recovering from the surgery. So, yeah, um, I'm at a place where I feel like I'm going to be able to make more consistent content and we're just gonna glow up together that's what we're gonna do we're gonna get this money together we're gonna glow up we're gonna lose our fat that we don't want we're gonna get healthy that's the main thing we're gonna get healthy um in all areas of our life healthy pockets healthy body healthy mind healthy soul that's what we're gonna do so if you want to join me along that journey then please subscribe to my channel and yes if you have any questions please leave them down below and i will see you guys in my next video Oops. How many of us have them? Bye.